This will dry rock hard. Yeah, it's a bit too smooth, so we're going to make it quite rugged all around this area in here. So we're making sure it's covered everywhere quite nicely around all this brickwork. Just like so, okay. And then what we'll do, I'm going to use a cocktail, uh, a cotton bud for this. Okay, it's quite messy. So there again, I'm going to do it over the pot. Okay, we've loaded up some on the cotton bud. We're just going to pour this onto it and give it a dab around. And what it'll do, it will stop it going dry and smooth as the PVA glue sets. It will give it more of a, a sort of texture to it, like that. So once you're in, give it a knock to get all the excess off of it. And then hopefully, as you can see, we go in there and it gives you a nice dried out look to it. Then obviously what you can do, you can come along with other pigments, put them in. You can show through bit, bits of brick and everything else like it. But you should be able to just pull it around just little bits, okay? And you can give it a very, very dry, hard look to it, instead of it looking sort of too brick-like, uh, for want of a better word, and all the rest of it. So that way you can make it into any type of effect you like. So we just give it a touch more just on there. Okay, knock off all your excess. You can get it all back in there as much as you can. And that gives you something like that type of effect. Okay, same with these ridge tiles up here, you can do it exactly the same way, um, but obviously you can then mix it up, perhaps a little bit of light and a little bit of dark, and that will give you more of a, a sort of concrete colour. So if we take a, let's move those out of the way. Okay, if we take a little bit of black, and a little bit of the light, which I new pot this one. So we just undo this one. <coughs> Okay, so same thing again, PVA glue goes in the pot, obviously won't do as much this time. Just a little blob. Okay, we just clean this off with that brown. <coughs> okay, we'll take some of the white in there, some of the black. Okay, and we'll mix together. Probably a little bit too much bigger pot to do this really. Just keep mixing. Okay, a bit more white required. Just pop in a little bit more PVA glue. Touch more white to get the right type of colour you're after. Just in there like so. <clears throat> okay, so we've got this darkish grey. Same thing as we did before. We're just going to take it and we're just going to pop it in a few of these little brick areas to make it a little bit less perfect. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull it round here, there and everywhere. Okay, same thing, you could either leave it like that or you can take some of your colours Oops. So if we just pop that down, get a bit inundated now. But what we'll do, we're just going to take 
a tiny bit of white. So this brush is still a little bit wet. It's important to try and keep your brush as dry as possible when you mix in pigments because otherwise you have a habit of sticking. So it's going to take a touch of the actual darkened white. Okay, and we're just making up a grey mix in the bottom of the pot just out of sight. Okay, so we've got that. I'm going to come along and we're just going to tap that in. Just to make it a little less and obviously mixed up with the PVA we can change this brickwork and make it look like burnt out sort of rafters and all those different colours. Got this ashy colour going on the go now. So we're just knocking that around. Okay, just keep getting in there. And there we go, that's the type of effect I was after to give it a more done look. What we do is just take a little bit of white, a little bit of sprinkling here and there to give it that effect of ash as if it's been burnt out a little bit. Just on the little beans, as I say, just to give it a sort of ash burn out effect, just like that, as if it has taken a hit. There we go, but just a touch more. So it's a bit like uh, oil painting at this point, but it's uh, a nice effect. And obviously, we haven't done the inside of this one, but I don't think it particularly matters for what we're trying to show here. And there we go, that gives you something like that. Okay, then if you wanted to build up, um, certainly, let me just take a little bit of dark dirt. If you wanted to build up perhaps new brickwork and bits and pieces, just pigment PVA glue, we've got on the go down here. So I've got some more pigment going in just to make this a, a brick grey, thick, oozy colour. Okay. There we go, I've got it on the end of the brush like this. So perhaps you wanted to maybe make some, looks like mud or where it joins the ground, has it little bits of build up. There we go, just going along the bottom just like that and then perhaps we can just put another tiny bit of oozy stuff and as I say this dries hard it's not like PVA glue it dries quite soft this will dry actually very hard okay so we just put a little bit on the inside of it so it doesn't look so sort of clean and crisp uh, and bits and pieces like that so there we go, that's really the basics of using the pigment. As you see, we've gone from nothing to very heavily weathered in the space of really about sort of 10 minutes work. And it's one of those things, you have lots and lots of fun with it. You can carry on going with this as much as you like, enjoying it, playing with all the different techniques and the little bits and pieces you can do with it. Hope you enjoyed that quick uh, tutorial and have lots of fun as you're having going with your weathering.